Showcase, Introduction, Overview, Equipment, Gems, Jewels, Flasks, Skill Tree, Ascendancy, Pantheon, Bandits, Summary. Helmet Devotos Devotion Devotos is just a great all-around helmet, giving us a healthy amount of move and attack speed which makes cycling so smooth. It also gives us the dexterity we need for other items and gyms. Weapon Atiris Disfavor This is not breaking news to anyone, but Atiris Disfavor is one of the best cycling weapons that have ever existed. Massive DPS, increased level of socketed gems, attack speed, weapon range and bleeding on hit. Any more questions? Body Armor Kaom's Heart Kaom's Heart is one of the best body armors for two-handed RT builds. Fire damage roll doesn't matter at all. If possible, get a nice corrupted Kaom's like cannot be knocked back or percentage chance to avoid being shocked, frozen, ignited or plus one max rest for being best in slot. Gloves Rare Gloves Insanity Gloves with dual rest, high life roll and dual leech is great for this build. We put our Leap Slam in our gloves in order to achieve the fastest two-handed Leap Slam in the entire game. Hemophilia is also a good option. Belt The Wretch The Wretch plus Slayer is overpowered. We never stop leeching, so we never stop dealing damage. Wretch damage is considered reflected damage, so our brutality gem does not affect it. Considering we get a flask effect duration as well, life, some physical damage and even a bit of movement speed. This belt is great for us. We even gain a healthy amount of damage functionality and smoothness from this belt. Boots. Rare boots. Boots with life, move and tri res or dual plus chaos res are best in slot for this build. You want to be overcapped on your resistances to compensate for elemental weakness and even elemental equilibrium if possible. If you choose to go with an enchant, use the shock, freeze, ignite if you haven't crit recently one. Amulet. Deresso's Salute Deresso's Salute has always been the best amulet for Cyclone. Plus 2 range on one item is insane. With GGG nerfing AoE in this game, melee weapon range is by far the best way to scale our Cyclone's area. Plus 1 curse is best in slot so you can run punishment, but a corrupt attack speed one is good as well. Carnage Charge is also a good choice. Rings Rare Rings Steel rings with life, flat fizz, int, and dual slash chaos res are what you want. We have to get intelligence from somewhere, and getting 100 plus int on two rings is the best place for this. Deutra's ring is a good budget way of achieving two curses if you want to try that. Cyclone, physical damage, brutality, ruthless, maim, chance to bleed. Damage on full life can be used as well if you choose so, but we are not always at full life. I think damage on full life is a great gem, but my whole vision about this RT build is to know exactly how much damage we are going to be doing at all times in order to anticipate what you need to do next to defeat your enemy. Banishment, vulnerability, enlighten, blasphemy. Vulnerability should be your main curse, with punishment as your second curse if you have a plus one curse amulet for mapping. For bosses like Shaper you can use enfeeble or temporary chains as defensive cursing. I roll dual curse with a plus one the rest of salute, but you can just easily use blood rage if you feel like you're tanky enough. Doidra's ring is another cheap way of achieving two curses. If you like the tankiness, try enfeeble instead of punishment for your secondary curse. You could also use blood rage in place of enlighten if you feel like you have enough mana to be comfortable with dual curse. Leap Slam, Fortify, Endurance Charge, Faster Attacks Putting Leap Slam in Insanity Gloves is essential in helping out clear speed. We put Fortify and Endurance Charge on Melee Stun as supports to achieve more tankiness. If you would like a bit more damage instead of Endurance Charges, you could put Blood Rage in Ecom Spot. Spike Gloves or Hemophilia Gloves are both good gloves as well. Commandment of Fury is the best enchant for us. It fires 10 copies of our weapon across the screen with 100% PS chance. At 75-85% to 85 bleed on hit without chance to bleed gem, all of our hits, including projectiles, can make the entire screen bleed at no extra cost. 
ancestral watching physical damage bloodless concentrated effect Ancestral Warchief is great for our supplemental damage and boosting our cyclone damage, melee physical being an obvious support along with consecrated effect. Bloodlust is great since our enemies are always bleeding anyway, since our attacks make them bleed 100% of the time. You can easily swap out concentrated effect for area of effect if you want to, but I prefer CE since it does the most damage. Life percentage on all jewels followed by attack speed, physical damage, area damage and melee damage. Chaos res slash other res you might need are also nice for jewels since we're two hand. Use Chaos, use Devotos, use Wretch, have Inton rings and use Insanity Gloves. Lion's Roar is great for Guardian slash Shaper since they cannot be knocked back but the regular bosses knock back can be kind of annoying. I prefer to use the Sulfur Flask while doing normal map slash leveling so I don't drive the enemies away from me and knock back the bosses out of the Ancestral War Chief Totem area. Witchfire Brew is not only a great offensive flask boosting our bleed damage, but it's also a great defensive flask covering us in a smoke cloud on use. If you can't use high level vulnerability yet, it's a good stopgap as well. I like using two quick silvers for mapping, one with freeze slash chill immunity. While mapping, we usually have onslaught, so we don't really need a silver flask. For shaper slash guardians or bosses with no adds, you can use a silver flask or just a Kiara's flask. Rumis is also a good defensive option to add another small layer of defense if you don't want to use two quick silvers and don't feel like you need Kiara's. Rhythm Jar is also a good flask to have to fill your leech pool up with the quickness, although I don't really prefer it. I love Panic Divine Life flasks. Based on when you use them, you can use them as both instant recovery or greater recovery. I choose Divine because Divine recovers more life instantly than Eternal. Once you get used to recognizing when you're low life, these can be a lifesaver. These are just rough guidelines, trees can be altered to ensure you are comfortable with the gear you have collected. You want to maintain a good balance of damage and survivability. That depends greatly on how much life your gear has and how much flat fist your gear has as well. You can ditch some leech on tree if you have leech on rings slash gloves while leveling. You can also drop a life note and pick iron reflexes. I do that sometimes. 34. Fifty-one. Eighty six. Ninety six. One hundred six. One hundred sixteen. One hundred twenty three.
endless hunger, vein of legend, headsman, brutal fervor. Major Guard, Soul of Solaris, Single Target. Major Guard, Soul of Lunaris, Multi Target. Minor Guard, Soul of Hugo. Kill them all. Please note that you can adjust the skill tree, items, gems and all other stuff on your personal favor. You can find the written guide in the description below. If you got any questions regarding the build, feel free to comment on the video or ask questions on the forum. We would appreciate your support by hitting the like button, subscribe to our channels and share it all over the world. Oh, and thanks to my girl for the voice overlays. Thanks for watching.